Pull it with your arm. And push with your feet. I'm pushing and pulling. And I'm push and pull. And pull. When I landed on my left heel, it sounded like wood splitting. It sounded like a big pop. I'm moaning, I'm groaning, I'm screaming. I knew I was something seriously wrong with my with my ankle. Oh, God. Ah! His ankle looked kind of like jelly, like the way his foot was hanging off of it. There's nothing should ever hang off of your body like that, ever. <laughs> it's just, yeah, shouldn't be like that. I'm thinking, oh crap, this is not, I mean, a broken ankle. There goes my uh, handball career. Hey, what are you doing? I'm calling 911. You need to go to the emergency room. No, no, wait, 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 stop. What do you mean? Stop! Stop. It looks like it's broken. Look. We've got to get you emergency care. Will you look around for a minute? To call I mean, 911, they're gonna come into the bedroom, they're gonna come in that? somewhere, they're gonna see the commas. Yeah. We're gonna have to clean up. Look, I am not explaining to some paramedic what happened, okay? Uh, how'd you do this, sir? Well, uh, hmm. No comment. We have to come up with a good story. Well, I think it starts with getting some pants on you. And no, you are not driving to the ER. After 18 years, you, you, you learn where you can be the macho man and where you, you can let the wife take care of you. All right, all right, all honey, right. we're gonna get you up. Oh. He's like 100 pounds more than me. I cannot get him up off the ground. I had to put all the weight on the right. Yeah. And just use the bed and she helped me and I got up and as soon as I put pressure on the other leg, I fell over. Ah! Ah! That was when I knew this was not going to end well at all.